think about all their difficulties in travel and some of their players not getting equipment until uh, uh, the night before the game. One player in particular stood out for Finland, and that was the great Teemu Solani. And he was just terrific. He takes a beautiful pass there from Saku Koivu and scores. And then how about this rebound? Rebound uh, on the backhand, puts that in as well. He had two goals, he had an assist, and a three-point night. And a 24-save shutout for the Philadelphia Flyers goaltender Antero Nidamaki. Now Italy in their 2006 Olympic debut hung in there with Canada for a little over one period. They were tied at one, lost the game 7-2. Well, they, they worked hard in the game, but they had a bad 10 minutes of the second period. If you look at positives coming out of that game, it was their goaltender, Jason Mazzotti. I mean, this guy was spectacular in this game. He faced 50 shots by Canada, and he just wouldn't give up. He just kept stopping everything from both sides of the net. Long shots, used the glove, used the pads, used a little bit of everything. And for Italy to have a chance in this game today, Gunther L is the goaltender. He's going to have to play like Jason Mazzotti did yesterday. Gunther L, 27 years of age, will make his Olympic debut for Italy, coming off the 7-2 loss yesterday. Both teams back at it. Less than 24 hours after playing their first games yesterday. And Finland with an impressive performance. Three points for Teemu Solani and Ole Jokinen. They scored four second period goals. Three power play goals for Finland. They won the game 5-0. And we are underway. Finland starting with their top line. Saku Koivu centering Teemu Solani and Yeri Lettinen. Frederick Norena, draft pick of the Tampa Bay Lightning in goal for Finland following the shutout by Nidamaki yesterday. Norena to our left, L to our right, and that one is kept away from Yeri Lettinen. Lettinen almost slipped it in the short side as L was looking the other way. Helfer for Italy, centering pass, broken up in front and picked up by Solani. Now it'll be interesting to see how much energy Finland has in this game. They're playing less than 24 hours from their last game, a game in which most of the players admitted they were tired, they had trouble getting their legs, but they found a way to win. Generally, the second day is more difficult than the first as far as the energy levels. Buck played ahead by Strazabolsko. No icing. Well, it is an icing, although Morena came out to play the puck. Frederick Morena, seventh round pick of the Tampa Bay Lightning in 02, making his Olympic debut. He plays in Sweden. He's not a young guy by any means, 32 years of age. Newman shot turned aside by L, loose in front and covered. Uh, right off the faceoff, Finland wins the faceoff cleanly. And as the shot came through, L had to try and find it because. There, there are people in front of him, then a rebound, then he got bumped into, but did a good job finding the loose puck. There it is again. He's very quick. Not a real big goaltender, but he's quick. And he shows it there with that save. Jason Cerrone to take the face off for Italy, a former Winnipeg Jet, one of three ex-NHL players on the Italy roster. One is the backup goaltender today, Muzzotti. We play for four NHL clubs. And that was another clean faceoff win for Finland in the offensive zone. Shot from the point, missed the net, and Italy was able to clear. Just underway from Torino. Second game for both Finland and Italy. Each team will play five games in this preliminary round. Top four of six in each group will advance to the quarterfinals. Battle for the puck. Tony Yab moves it up the boards. Held in. Ludman with a shot. And that deflects wide. DeBetton plays it for Italy. Ahead for Parco. And now carried in by Trevisani. Yab, a former draft pick of the Buffalo Sabres, sends in deep. Flipped around by Aki Berg for Anti Laxinen. And now out to center. Puck played by Andre Signoretti of Italy. And Yab deflects it deep into the Finland zone. Italy with 11 players born in North America. Nine from Canada, two from the United States. 19 first-time Olympians on this Italy roster. 
Miko Koivu plays the puck for Finland. In behind the net for Yarko Rutu of the Vancouver Canucks. First penalty coming up. It will be against Italy. The lead call on number 26, Helfer. Finland with the extra skater. Saku Koivu. What a job of controlling the puck by Finland. Koivu for Kimo Timonen, and his drive goes over the net. Rebound Koivu, he shoots it wide. And the touch is finally made by Helper. And now Finland will go on the power play. They scored three power play goals in yesterday's win over Switzerland. Yeah, that's what really got them going yesterday. And there you see the Finnish brain trust. Urko Westerlund is the head coach. Of course, Yari Curry is the general manager of this team, the great Hall of Famer that played all those great years in Edmonton with Wayne Gretzky. And they put together this team. And he was saying yesterday, Yari Curry, when I asked him about his goaltending, and there were a couple of their top two picks didn't come over because of injuries or not feeling well or had injuries, but he said, that's all right. He said, we're just fine with Ninamaki. Ninamaki goes out and gives him a shutout. And you're talking about Mika Kiprasov of the Calgary Flames, who leads the NHL and wins with 29, and Kari Lettinen of the Atlanta Thrashers. Neither goaltender here in Torino. Power play for Finland. Helfer in the box for hooking. Finland, three power play goals yesterday. Italy allowed three, and they're lost to Canada. Tepo Newman scored a power play goal yesterday. Slides it across for Kimo Timonen. Letting in for Solani. Moves in front, tied up. And the puck in the corner played by Koivu. Now they're trying hard to get the puck to Solani in the slot for the shot. Now he moves away. Letting in across. Solani could not get the shot away. Kept in the zone by Finland. One minute remaining on the power play. Timonen with a drive and a glove save. By L. Well, Finland had the success yesterday on the power play, and this one has looked very good as well. Now, they came out early and scored the power play goal. Newmanen with that shot. Timo Solani, of course, always a key. There it is again. Newmanen with the shot over the glove. And thus far in this power play, they have controlled the puck. I mean, they've looked, they've done everything but score. Only Okun in centering this line. He scored two of the three power play goals. This is UC Okun. Down low for Billy Pelton, who had two assists yesterday. One timer by Sammy Sallow to flex wide. Newmelin out for Sallow. Wrist shot right on. Save made. Loose puck picked up by Sarone. And he clears all the way down with 25 seconds remaining. On the Finland power play. Now, this thus far in this game, L, the Italian goaltender, looks pretty good. He's been, he's had to face some difficult shots here in the early going. An opportunity for UC Okunen, and it's gloved by L. How about that save? What a save. Jokinen right up the middle with speed, and L has had to make a lot of close in saves, and this is a beauty. Watch the right glove, right hand. Sticks it out. Shot was low. Was going just inside the post. Beautiful pass. And the save. Good start. Under 10 seconds on the power play. Salo with a one-timer. Saved by L. Another save. A third stop. Bouncing puck. And it's carried out by Parco. And I tell you what, there's a buzz here. A good crowd. Of course, uh, the Italians here to cheer on their team. And that's a good start. That's a very good start by their goaltender. Five saves on the power play for L. Nicholas Hagman, cross ice pass. L with another save, and it's cleared out by Strasovosko. Gunther L off to a good start. Finland offside, no score. Do you believe anything's possible? I do. I work at Earthlink. I believe your internet can do more for you. I believe it can be safe at any speed. High speed dial up wireless, secure, secure, secure. I believe that whatever's next, we'll think of it first. I work at Earthlink. And we're making unbelievable things happen every day.
It's time to start believing. Call now and get a great deal on Earthlink High Speed. Earthlink, we revolve around you. Where's my shoes? My wings? My, um... Breakfast? Oh, well that slowed you down. The simple pleasure of Philadelphia cream cheese bread. Rich, creamy, and 25% less saturated fat than butter. Philadelphia, a little taste of heaven. Today, a soldier sees a snapshot of the terrain. A pilot, an image of the airspace. The commander, a view of the mission. But they're all part of a bigger picture. That's why Boeing is helping create a remarkable network to gather and analyze data from every source, then deliver the right information instantly. So the bigger picture is a safer world. Boeing, forever new frontiers. Just over six minutes gone by. Finland and Italy are scoreless. The best player on the ice has been Italy goaltender, Luther L. He's been great. Nine saves already in the first six minutes and 25 seconds. And Finland is flying. If there was any thought, which I did have some, that maybe they'd be a little bit fatigued after, after yesterday, they have come out with a terrific start. Now, granted, they've had the early power play, but that man right there has been the story of the game thus far. He has kept Italy in this thing. This could easily be two or, to three, two or three to nothing with the chances Finland has had. Remember, these teams play five games in the first seven days here at the Olympics. And that's why you'll see more than one goaltender used by these teams. Letman in behind the net for Solani. Solani tied up by Margoni, but played by Letman. Letman hit by Margoni, and that allows Ramoser to play the puck for Italy. Italy still looking for their first shot. They were outshot by Canada in yesterday's game, 50 to 20. Now there's Team Italy, and again, it's a hard-working team. There's their head coach, Mickey Goulet. He's from Ottawa. He's been here. He's been running the program for two and a half years. Went to the University of New Hampshire uh, as a 17-year-old. Played college hockey there. He just recently said a sent a, a note to Rube Bjorkman, who was his coach at New Hampshire. And Rube Bjorkman was a legendary coach then at the University of North Dakota and said it was time for me to send him a note. He's up in War Road, Minnesota, to just thank him for all the influence he's had on his life. Goulet went out to coach at Colby College in Maine and the University of Ottawa. Yob centering pass on the first shot from Deep Benton, and that stopped. By Norena. Oh, what a chance. Now the Italians will end up with another penalty. Whistle before the shot, and Finland will go on their second power play. Temu Solani is arguing that the Italians didn't have control of the puck. It actually, the puck hit a skate. Here's the chance by Italy first, and it was a good one. And then the penalty right in front of the referee. That was an easy call. And so the first shot for Italy is a, is a great opportunity. And Arena with a very good save. John Parco from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, in the penalty box for tripping. Newbelin has his shot blocked by Sarone, and it's cleared down ice by Scandella. Five shots on the first power play for Finland. And most of those quality shots. And it's been the early story is the goaltending of L, the Italian goaltender. Only out to the left point, Newbelin. Right point, Salo. Back to Newbelin. UC Okin it. Newbelin. Now Salo. Finland works it around on the power play. Salo's got the big shot. Pelton in with a drive. Kicked out a left pad save by L. A minute 10 remaining on the Finland power play. Pelted in, tied up by Trevisani. Pelted in, works it free for Newbelin. Wrist shot. Salo with the second opportunity. And it's held in. Good hustle by Pelted in. He had a chance. Goaltender was out of position and didn't see the puck. He just missed the net. Salo, wrist shot. Save made. Comes back out to Salo. 
Newman, 40 seconds on the power play. Finland continues to fire away. A drive by Salo and the save by L. Boy, this guy's been something else. Defenseman broke his stick. Trevisani, he's handed the stick by one of the forwards, Scandella. You see Jokinen stopped by L, and he hangs on. You know, these were not easy saves because he had Jokinen, who scored a couple of goals yesterday. Jokinen was directly in front of him. And as I mentioned before, L is not a big goaltender, but look at, look at the bodies in front of him. And he's got to find the pucks. I mean, these were difficult saves. Look, at him, look around, trying to look around Jokinen. Boy, what a job he's doing here in the early part. The shots are 13-1 in favor of Finland. Salati, teaming it. And a shot by Letton and deflected wide. Ten seconds on the Finland power play. Puck back in the Finland zone. Carried ahead by Lennon. Finland offside. Four more shots on this power play. Your first age spot. You think everyone notices. A pinpointed procedure like a laser can zap it, but lasers aren't for you. This is new Olay Regenerist Targeted Tone Enhancer. It allows you to pinpoint age spots and discolorations, target them, diminish their appearance to bring new brightness to your skin. Put yourself in the spotlight. Olay Regenerist, love the skin you're in. You need control of your sales materials so your field staff from coast to coast can order the current documents online. From printing to online document management, turn to PIP to turn down the stress. PIP, easing the pain of business. They're called Tiendas, thousands of tiny storefronts across Central America that sell food and goods to millions. But delivering refrigerated food to them takes a different approach than for big stores. So Cargill built a creative distribution system, equipping salespeople with icebox scooters and handheld computers to call on the Tiendas and deliver the small but essential inventory they need when they need it. This is how Cargill works with customers. Kenny Albert, Joe Micheletti back in Torino. No score. Shots are 14-1 in favor of Finland. The Finns with nine shots on their two power plays. Well, the way they're moving the puck around there, you see the scoring chances. And another one. Breakaway opportunity and the backhand shot by Laxon and is stopped by L. I believe Laxon then came off the bench and just took off right down the middle of the ice. And look at the pass. Nobody saw him and watched the save. Boy, has this guy been good. He's been quick. He stopped everything that Finland has been able to throw at him, and there it is again. He just stretches out as far as he can with the left pad to make that save. Outstanding. Jason Muzzotti stopped 43 of 50, counted his shots yesterday at a 7-2 loss. Gunther L has stopped all 15 shots he has faced from Finland so far today. And now another penalty against Italy. Delayed call. The referee is from Russia, Vyacheslav Bulanov, and he will send a third player from Italy to the box. Well, part of what uh, Mickey Goulet was telling me before the game, and I asked him the keys to the game, he said, you know, we gotta, we got to stay out of the box. He felt like there were a few calls against Canada that weren't exactly, you know, great calls for his team. But he said, you know, he's, what are you going to do? He said, you got to tell your team. Try to stop taking penalties. Try to stop taking penalties. And here, and here in the early part of this first period, Finland has been terrific. Italy has struggled, and now this is the third power play for Finland. Nine shots over the first two. Yeah, part of the reason for their struggles is they've been shorthanded. Former Sabres draft pick Yab in the box, and another glove save on the shot by Pateri Numelin. Yeah, Numelin, that was a good shot. And it almost looked like the goaltender Bell picked it up a little late. And here's a line that was just terrific yesterday. Tamo Solani, we talked about him earlier. Saku Koivu, always just such a great competitor and the captain of the team. And Yeri Lettinen, that can do anything for you. He's one of the best defensive forwards uh, in the... Lucky winner is top defensive player in the NHL. Shallow 
Saved by L. Yeah, now this power play unit for Finland, they like to shoot from the point. And they've got Ole Jokin, and they like to crash the net and try to screen the goaltender. Ole Jokin and Yussi Jokinen and Billy Peltonen. Here's Yussi Jokinen, shoots it off the side of the net, backhanded ahead, and Bucillo, the captain of Italy, clears it down ice. Yeah, now a quick change, and here comes Finland again, wasting no time to get the puck up the ice. Salo across for Newman. One minute to go on this Finland power play. You see Okanen stopped by L. Teppo Newman for Sammy Salo. Back to Newman. Big drive and a save by L again. This kid's been great. Unbelievable here in the first period. 18 shots on goal for Finland. Just one for Italy, and we remain scoreless. Boy, oh boy, he's just given his team a big-time chance to stay in this game in the first period. This game could be over right now. Saku Koivu into the Italy zone for Tempo Numenin. Backhanded up the boards. Not out. 15 seconds on the power play. As Salani comes in front and is stopped by L. What part of the body has he not used yet to make a save? Shoulders, arms, pads, stick, skates, knees, everything. Chest, glove, chest again. Quickness with the pads. Boy, oh boy, he has been something. He's been fun to watch, hasn't he? The story of this game so far, 27-year-old Gunther L, the Italy goaltender. Power play is over. Out of the box, skates Yob. Koivu centers for Salati, and his shot was blocked from behind. Salati in front. Letting it stop by L. Puck cleared ahead by Scandella. Out to center. Now, the other, the other area that Finland has totally dominated, offensive zone faceoffs. They have won 12 offensive zone faceoffs here in the first period. When you have the puck and you're that skilled, boy, it makes it tough defensively. Finland on the power play, Joe, 0 for 3, 14 shots. And it's and it's looked perfect the way they've handled the puck, moved it around, the quality of shots that they've been able to set up for themselves. And it's all been the goaltending of L. That's the story. Nico Kapanen out to the point. Tony Lutman. And that shot blocked. Comes back to Ludman. Naki Berg sends it to the corner. Nicholas Hagman took a hit from Tony Tuzolito. Hagman hit again by Tuzolito. And Tuzolito carries out three on two. Bouncing puck chased down by Kitaroni. Tuzolino comes out in front with a backhand shot. It goes wide. Uh, he was looking for a penalty. I think the net obscured what happened on the play. The referee didn't see it. Finland offside. I was picking up our son from school. One of my neighbors saw the gardener hanging around the back door. We don't have a gardener. But we do have ADT. It's home security so good, it actually helps stop break-ins from happening. A single ADT system can help protect your home and loved ones from burglary, fire, and carbon monoxide. So call now and save up to $200 on an ADT protection package. ADT works. Just ask the bad guys. ADT. Always there. Try Kraft Mayo in the original No Mess Big Mouth Jar. Some kind of wonderful. The Big Mouth lets a smooth, creamy taste go where you want it to, not on your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kraft Mayo, kind of a better wonderful. jar of mayo. An idea is born to build a vehicle that defies classification inspired by sports car design and propelled by a 320 horsepower engine. This brave idea is called the FX and it's from a company called Infinity. 
Under five minutes remaining in the period, 22 saves for the Italian goaltender, Gunther L. Well, yesterday it was that man right there, Jason Mazzotti, that faced 50 shots by Canada. The way this thing is going, we could see 60 or 70. Opportunity in front for Ole Jokinen. And it was blocked by David Team. Carried out by Parko for Yav. David Team gives chase. Pelted in for Finland. Tied up along the boards by Parko. Yav with the puck. Yav sends one towards the net. You know, when, you're a when you're a coach and you're watching your team get all these scoring opportunities and nothing's going in, that worries you. Loose puck in front. Finland penalty will be called as Jokinen blocks the shot in front from Yav, and now Italy will have their first power play. You know, and Yav in front was down on the ice, number 17, and he took a swipe at it. Watch, he'll get knocked down in front. Watch him go down. Now watch him get a shot right there. He just kind of swings around and ends up putting it uh, on goal. And the penalty is called. And so Italy has just uh, just gotten their first power play of the first period. And wouldn't this be something if they could take a lead here in the first period after the way these things this period has gone for Finland. Anti you see the Emmy in the penalty box. I think that was the Emmy's first shift of the game and he was called for hooking. So Italy on the power play they scored a power play goal yesterday against Canada finished one for four. Scandella Sarone and Mark Doni up front for Italy on this power play. Puck chased by Timonen, chips it ahead for Saku Koivu. Uh, the Italy coaching staff liked the way their power play handled things yesterday. They, they, they liked the pressure, they liked the way they moved the puck around. And again, this would be a huge lift to their team if they could score here. Peter Roney and his stick lifted from behind by Laxanen, and Laxanen clears down. A minute 10 remaining on the Italy power play. No score. Shots are 22 to 5 in favor of Finland. Strazabosco fires in. Stopped behind the net by Norena. Moves it up the boards, and it's cleared. Good play to get it out by Nico Kapanen. And then it's sent down the rest of the way by Anti Laxanen of the Colorado Avalanche. 45 seconds on the Finland penalty. Hot foot to head by Carter Trevisani. Now behind the net, it's Parko, centering pass. And it's cleared out by the Finns. Now Yob with the puck, stick checked away by Rutu. And backhanded down by Miko Koivu. Down to 20 seconds on the Italy power play. Senior ready for Parko, knocked off his stick by Ole Jokinen, and cleared down ice by Peltonen. Two minutes remaining in the period, no score. First of six men's hockey games today here in Torino. Penalty is over. Miami out of the box. Only Okanen down the right wing. Tied up and the penalty will be called. Bob Nardella. Chicago area native who plays for the Rockford Ice Hogs of the United Hockey League also Runs a youth hockey program in Illinois. His grandparents were born in Italy. Nardella grew up in the United States, and Nardella is in the box with a minute 40 remaining in this first period. Nardella in for holding, giving Finland their fourth power play. They have 14 shots over their first three, but have not been able to beat the goaltender, Gunther L. Ole Jokinen with Philly Peltonen and UC Jokinen, a rare face-off win for Italy. On the penalty kill, but carried in behind the net by Sarone, and he's stripped by Salo. So Finland on their fourth power play with no score, 
They're out shooting Italy 22 to 6. Only Okanen for UC Okanen. And now Philly Peltonen. Peltonen looks towards the net. Down low for UC Okanen. Slides it across. And the defenseman Strazabosco got a piece of it. One minute remaining in the period. You see Okanen stick handling. Out for Salo. Now Jokinen again. Salo fires wide. Held in at the line by Newmelin. Salo. You see Okanen cannot control. And the puck played out to center by Helfer of Italy with one minute remaining on the penalty. And 35 seconds to go in the period. The big story, the play of the Italian goaltender Gunther L, who has stopped all 22 shots he has faced here in period one. Saku Koivu across, Kimo Timonen for Tempo Numenen. Down low for Koivu, in front, letting it stop by L, a right pad save, and the puck is cleared by Busillo. Down to 10 seconds in the period. Solani for letting it, five seconds. And period one comes to an end. 23 saves for 27-year-old Gunther L. In his first Olympic appearance, he holds Finland off the board. They outshot Italy in the first 23 to 6. The 20th Olympic Winter Games on the networks of NBC are brought to you by DHL, who reminds you to vote for this year's Spirit Award winners. Hello, DHL. How may I help you? This is Frank from Beecroft Golf. Did our courier leave yet? On his way. Is there any way we can change the pickup to our downtown plant for the next couple of days? Shut the no problem. Changing shipping for the next two days to the downtown plant. And make it a week. I'm on it. DHL. Proud to support the 2006 U.S. Olympic team and proud to bring customer service back to shipping. Where's my shoes? My wings? My, um... Breakfast? Oh. Well, that slowed you down. The simple pleasure of Philadelphia cream cheese bread. Rich, creamy, and 25% less saturated fat than butter. Philadelphia. A little taste of heaven. You think plans. Office Depot thinks paper. You think locations. Office Depot thinks laptops. You think how to build your business. Office Depot thinks how to supply it. And now through Saturday, get 20% off on all Christopher Lowell brand furniture and chairs. So hurry in. You take care of business. Office Depot takes care of you. Taking care of business. Well. I'm finally selling the place. Oh, you're kidding. Decided I gotta chase a dream before I'm too tired to do it. Oh, well, this car's sure gonna miss you. No, nah, new fella, take good care of it. So you bought this infirmary? Yeah, I just decided I had to chase the dream before I got too tired to do it. <laughs> maybe you'll finish your life's work early. Or maybe you'll hear a second calling and say, Hello, future. Learn how to manage your retirement income at LFG.com. Mm. This new Grape Nuts Trail Mix Crunch is unbelievable. Raisins, almonds, some honey, nice light crunch. Whoa! Mmm. Unbelievable. unbelievable. New Trail Mix Crunch. So good, you won't believe it's Grape Nuts. It's amazing what the right makeup will do. Meet the new Max Factor. Makeup from one of fashion's top makeup artists, designed for drama. Engineered for impact. And ready to make you a star. Wherever you are. If you've got it, maximize it. Max Factor. Makeup maximized. This hockey intermission report is brought to you by Lenovo. Intermission number one, surprisingly, Italy and Finland are scoreless. And a few moments ago, Joe Basilio of Team Italy spoke with Joe Micheletti. No score after one, Italy and Finland. Joe, uh, tell us about that first period. I know your goaltending was great. What do you have to do to, to get better? Well, we're going to have to stay out of the penalty box. Once again, that's uh, been the story in tonight's uh, game as well as yesterday against Canada. The introduction of the new rules, we've got to be 
more uh, more weary of uh, stick work and uh, hooking and stuff like that's getting called and it's costing us now. Tell us about your experience of playing for Italy, playing here in Italy. What what's that been like? Uh, I've been over in Europe for uh, 16 years now, and it's been wonderful. You know, I've got a family here, and two kids, and uh, both speak Italian and English, so it's been a great experience for me. And uh, as far as uh, being able to host the uh, the Olympics here in Italy, uh, as you can see, the fans are just going crazy, and it's a great atmosphere here. Joe, thanks for your time. Good luck. No problem, thanks. Ham, Bill Clement, and Ray Ferraro back in our studio. So scoreless, Italy and Finland after one. The goaltender that's playing behind Joe uh, Basilio today, his last name is spelled H-E-L-L, -L, and he gave Finland a little bit of that in the first period. Yeah, absolutely. Gunther L. Blake, his first Olympic ex experience here for Italy, backs up Jason Mazzotti with the national team. 27 years old, plays his first game in the Olympics, and I'm sure he's very excited. Well, he didn't have much time to get settled in because in the first 11 minutes of this hockey game, the Finns had 15 shots, and L stopped every one of them. The Italians were shorthanded three times. You heard Joe Basillo talk about their penalty problem. Well, Gunther L was spectacular in goal. He stops two breakaways, this being the second one on Antti Laxanen. For the Finnish team, they play almost a perfect period of hockey. They don't give up much offensively to the Italians and they pepper Gunther L but they are not able to break him as they move forward they're going to want to continue to have more traffic make it as difficult as possible for Gunther L to see the puck as he did all through that first period and as we pointed out many times goaltending the one position that can really skew the hockey equation we're just getting started a reminder about the rest of our busy day of men's hockey here in Torino Czech Republic and Switzerland starts at 7 a.m. Eastern then it's Sweden and Russia at 10. And we continue with Slovakia and Latvia at 11 a.m. That will be followed by Canada and Germany at 2 p.m. All of those games on MSNBC. And our final game of the day, the U.S. and Kazakhstan presented commercial free. That gets underway at 3 p.m. Eastern on USA Network. But a lot of eyes will be watching the game that Russia plays today because the stakes are a little higher for Russia today, having lost to Slovakia yesterday. For the second straight day, Russia plays the highest profile game of the day. They lose to Slovakia, as you mentioned yesterday, today against Sweden. And these games all have implications on how the standings will play out in their individual pools and how the crossover games will form. If Russia expects to be at the top of their pool, they almost certainly have to beat Sweden today. All right, so pressure mounting for some teams already. When we come back, we will talk about game two of the day. Team Czech Republic will take the ice against Switzerland, and that is coming right up after these messages. prepared for whatever weather throws at you with Rain-X wiper blades. Dry Craft Mayo in the original, no mess, Big Mouth Jar. Some kind of wonderful. The Big Mouth lets the smooth, creamy taste go where you want it to, not on your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Craft Mayo, kind of a better jar of mayo. When design impacts performance, Performance returns the favor. The six-speed, 298 horsepower G35. Behold, the shape of performance. Infinity, a line has been drawn. Ritz chips. Ritz chips? Toasted, mm. not fried. Ritz Toasted Chips, full of flavor and 40% less fat than regular fried potato chips. And believe me, I know toasted. Think you know all there is to know about getting your cholesterol right? You may be wrong, because getting bad cholesterol down might be just part of the equation. You may also want to get your good cholesterol up. Even more surprising, this cholesterol medicine does both. Crestor. Crestor, along with diet, can lower bad cholesterol by up to 52%. But Crestor also raises your good cholesterol. Down with the bad, up with the good. Is Crestor right for you? That's between you and your doctor. Crestor's not for everyone, including people with liver disease and women who are nursing, pregnant, or may become pregnant. Simple blood tests are needed to check for liver problems. 
tell your doctor about other medications you're taking, or if you experience muscle pain or weakness, as they may be a sign of serious side effects. Down with the bad, up with the good. Talk to your doctor about Cresto. If you're without prescription coverage and can't afford your medication, AstraZeneca may be able to help. And welcome back to our hockey studio here in Torino, everyone. Less than half an hour from now, the Czech Republic faces off against Switzerland. Yesterday, the Czechs opened with a win against Germany. As you could imagine, Dominic Hasek was slated to start for the Czech Republic. But that didn't last long. Nine minutes and 25 seconds into the first period, he pulled himself out of the game after apparently wincing in pain, where it is that he has a groin injury. So Thomas Vokun picked it up from there. But at the end of the first period, Tino Booz shot the Czech Republic. And at the end of one, it was 1-0 Germany. Thomas Caverly took over in the second. He certainly does. He takes a long lead pass from Vokun, the goaltender, to even the score. And then later on the power play, his second power play goal. This is a beautiful feed from Martin Straka. And the Czechs go up. 2-1. In the third period, Jarmer Jager gets on the board. He gets a lucky goal, bounces off Ole Kohl's again, the German defender. An empty net goal by David Verborny is the final margin, 4-1 Czech Republic. So the Czech Republic off to a good start. To Thomas Caberle, the man that scored a couple of goals, was just given a five-year contract extension by the Toronto Maple Leafs. And in this case, it's apparent that John Ferguson Jr. knew what he was doing uh, in signing Thomas Caberle. Well, it's taken Caberle a long period of time to earn some respect in North America, mainly because he's a pretty quiet guy. He does not say a whole lot, but he's exceptionally talented with the puck. I don't think he gets enough credit for his play without. Positionally, exceptionally, is an exceptional player. He's not a big guy, not a physical guy, but he's always in the right spot, and his skating takes him out of any trouble he may get into. He's quiet but excellent, I think, is yes. a pretty good way to describe Caberle. There was a penalty shot in that game yesterday, and the coach could have chosen Jarmer Yager, he chose Milan Heyduk, but that's just an indication of how many good players there are on that team. Sometimes guys like Robert Lang even get lost in the shuffle. Well, Robert Lang's played 19 games in the Olympics. This is his fourth appearance for the Czech Republic, and he's got 19 points. And Lang is a big centerman. You see he wears the captain C for the Czech Republic. He is a guy that can do many things for them. He is very good on the draw. He is strong in the middle of the ice, and he's a very good distributor of the puck. So Robert Lang does get overshadowed, but he will play a key role if the Czech Republic is going to advance deep, as I expect they will in this tournament. Okay, second game of the day for the Czech Republic. Second game for us of the day is the Czech Republic against Switzerland, and we'll come back to Torino shortly. First, news headlines from MSNBC and Randy Meyer. <laughs> MSNBC keeps you up to the minute. Hello, everyone. I'm Randy Meyer. Vice President Dick Cheney says the day he accidentally shot a friend while hunting was one of the worst days of his life. Cheney took the blame for the mishap in a TV interview, but he did not apologize for the delay in telling the National Press Corps. The shooting victim, Harry Whittington, remains hospitalized today. The British man accused of killing his wife and infant daughter is scheduled to be arraigned today in a Massachusetts court. Neil Entwistle returned from England yesterday. Entwistle's attorney says he will plead not guilty to killing his wife, Rachel, and his nine-month-old daughter, Lillian. Detroit police shot and killed a man who robbed a bank and took several customers hostage. Police say the man entered the bank, demanded money, and fired one shot into the air. A SWAT team officer fired at the robber, killing him. All of the hostages got out safely. That's the latest news. I want to send you now back to MSNBC's Olympic coverage right here. I'm Keith Olbermann, and these are interesting times. Interesting, busy, confusing times, when on any given day, there's too much news. Every night on Countdown, we boil down all that information, the spin, the sin, the apologies, and everything else masquerading as news, into the five stories you'll be talking about tomorrow. I promise to make sense of every news day. Give me an hour, and I'll give you a grip on what's really going on. It's the news, Olbermann style. Countdown with Keith Olbermann, weeknights at 8, only on MSNBC. Weeknight. West of Chicago, past the mall, off I-88, near good schools, in a clubhouse community, single-family homes from 144,990, Lakewood Springs. The American dream comes true. At UBS, we offer our clients serious financial resources. Over 100 years of experience, the expertise of the world's largest wealth management firm, and, of course, the most serious resource of all. A relationship with an advisor who actually understands you. Wealth management at UBS. From wealth preservation to lending and investment. You and us.
UBS. Almost is common. Almost happens nearly every day. This almost happened, that almost happened. Yet still, almost never gets the attention it deserves. That is until almost becomes how come. Find out why millions turn to American Family Insurance. A little peace of mind, or less than you'd expect. American Family Insurance. 25 minutes from Naperville, 7 minutes from I-88, your own home and clubhouse, Village Homes from 126-990, Lakewood Springs, the American dream comes true. The host country of Italy on the ice with their goaltender Gunther L. Snipers for Finland like Solani, Koivu and Jokinen. The first period belonged to L after 1-0-0 heading into the second. This has been the Hockey Intermission Report, brought to you by Lenovo. MSNBC weeknights. No one gets you inside Washington's biggest stories like Hardball with Chris Matthews. Watch Hardball. Know the arguments. Don't you think we ought to know how these things are done? Know the issues. Who is putting money in their pockets? Know the truth. We could get the answers any day now, and you can bet you're going to hear them all right here in Hardball. Want to know what's really going on in Washington? You only need to know three little words. Let's play Hardball. The political show of record. Hardball with Chris Matthews. Weeknights at 7, only on MSNBC. I'm Keith. The year's sexiest thriller is now in demand. Buy something? An extraordinary discovery. We're gonna be rich people. Will become the most terrifying experience. I see something. We found dead bodies. Of their lives. You told me this be easy. You have something that belongs to me, Jared? Jessica Alba, Paul Walker, Into the Blue. Available now on demand. Hit movies without the trip to the video store. On demand with Comcast Digital Cable. Peace of mind. It's a wonderful thing. And it's closer than you think. Humana Gold Plus is the convenient all-in-one Medicare health plan that includes your prescription drug coverage. And it's accepted by physicians you can trust at the Advocate Health Centers. For more information, call 1-866-229-9370. Want to know about local online sweepstakes, promotions, games, and more? Visit RecRoom.com for your chance to win big from local businesses. Plus, get the scoop on local happenings. RecRoom.com. More than fun and games. What you wish you could do in real life, now you can do at VHicks.com. Roadmap to the automotive world. Back in Torino, Kenny Albert with Joe Micheletti. What a first period for Italy goaltender Gunther L. He stopped all 23 Finland shots. Well, he's been the story. There's no question that they needed good goaltending, as we talked about before the game started, that he was going to have to continue what Jason Mazzotti did yesterday. And I think he took it to another level, the way he played. 23 saves in that first period stopped everything and Finland was flying I mean, there's no question they were drawing penalties they were moving the puck they were getting high quality shots they were screening the goaltender they were getting deflections they did everything they possibly could and the puck just simply didn't go in the net shots from the point how about a couple of breakaway stops that he made power play opportunities that one was deflected here's another breakaway by Loxanen save there screens in front still found a way to get his glove on one they tried to jam it in from the sides. That didn't work. So I wonder what Finland uh, talked about in between periods other than how about we just keep playing and eventually we'll get one. Well, they do need to cut down on the penalties. They took four in the first period. In fact, Bob Nardella remains in the box for another 21 seconds. Finland starts the second period on the power play with Saku Koivu centering Yeri Lettinen and Temu Solani. L defending the goal to our left. Lorena to the right shots in the first period were 23 6 in favor of Finland Finland continuing on their fourth power play as the puck is backhanded out by Jason Sarone Koivu carries through the neutral zone as the penalty comes to an end 
And the puck set on goal by Julio Scandella. Scandella made a good play, knocked that puck out of midair just outside his blue line. Scandella, born in Montreal, plays in Italy. Lettinen with the puck, far corner. In behind the net, Solani quickly out in front, deflected away by Scandella. Uh, Italy's going to have to get something going, and you mentioned it, and they know it. They've got to stay out of the penalty box first and foremost, but they've got to start getting the puck. Now, they haven't had the puck in this game. They've lost most of the faceoffs, in particular in the offensive zone for Finland, 12-2. There you look at the stats, and I mean, it's tilted towards Finland big time. They dominated the period, and they couldn't score. Now, Italy's a team that they like to pressure. As their coach, Vicky Goulet, was telling me before the game, he said, Joe, he said, I hate the 1 4, where it's just boring hockey, defensive hockey. He said, I won't play that. He said, but I try to get our players to be smart, be aggressive, put pressure on the puck, and there are certain times when you have to back off a little bit. One of Vicky Goulet's assistant coaches is Jim Corsi, the longtime. Goalie coach with the Buffalo Sabres. Yeah, and he's been coming over here for the last two years to Italy and to work with the goaltenders, not just the older ones, the young ones, ages 16 and up, to try and develop them. It's obviously working. Pelton in, cuts towards the net and shoots it off the side of the net. And another Italy penalty, yeah. a high stick. You know what? Pelton in made such a remarkable move. He faked everyone out and then got high stick or hook just at the time he made his last move on the goaltender. Watch him pull it inside right by the feet. Beautiful move and then one more. And you can even see the goaltender L came well out to his left and then had to stop and try and get back. And Pelton, as he was getting hooked down on the play, knocked down on the play, couldn't put it in the short side, which was open. Carlisle, Canada native, Carter Trevisani, draft pick of the Carolina Hurricanes in the box. And Finland finally scores on the power play. They take a 1-0 lead, banged home by Yeri Lettinen. And now that was one. A save was made. Moving in from the right point was Temple Newman at number 27. His shot is going to hit the left post and then watch it hit the goalie. Watch, post, off the goalie, right back in. And that might have gone in on, on its own, but Lettinen made, uh, made sure. There it is, post off the goalie, and then letting it coming in from the other side. And now the goaltender didn't, didn't see it, didn't know where it was. And the perfect bounce for Finland, and maybe that's what they needed, because they have dominated this first game, or this first period, and early part of the second. And letting in with the power play goal, and you would certainly think that eventually Finland is going to score on one of their power plays, the way they played, and for Italy, they just keep going to the penalty box. That's not quite working. Lettinen scores his first goal here in Torino, his ninth career Olympic goal. Tempo Newman in the assist at 149. Finland finally breaks through on their 24th shot. And they lead 1-0. Now yeah, that's the thing with Lettinen that we are talking about. Great defensive player. Locks it in in front, and UC Okunen was knocked down as he deflected the puck wide. Knocked to the ice by Ramosur as Italy clears the puck down. A great defensive player is letting in, but if you need something on the power play as well, put him out there. Letting in with 27 goals this season for the Dallas Stars. Yeah. Dallas having an outstanding season. Marty Turco, their goaltender, is one of the three goaltenders for... Team Canada had a chance to talk to him this morning. Another penalty coming up against Italy, Joe. Now, Italy's trying to play physical and aggressive, but they're doing it at the wrong times. And they're having, obviously, a difficult time. And Soldi is getting the penalty. Listen up. Ouch. That hurt. And, and Soldi trying to get in, trying to get his team going a little bit. Kenny, you. Is it you have the same feeling that I'm getting about you know what Italy is doing? I mean they this Finnish team, most of these players play in the NHL, they've had to adapt to the new officiating standards. 
These Italian players, it sounds like they haven't had those this year, and they're having to adapt to these in the Olympics, and they're having trouble doing so, just as the NHL players did, certainly the first month or so of the season. And that's uh, what Joe Busillo mentioned in his interview with you in between yeah. periods. Adapting to the way it's being called. Timo Tiemann in drive is stopped by L. Power play number six for Finland with Van Soldi in the box for boarding. Puck deflects out to center. A minute 20 on the Finland power play. Gary Lettman with the power play goal, giving Finland the lead moments ago. Solani, beautiful pass in front off the stick of Lettman. Boy, it was wide open, wasn't it? Beautiful passing by the Finns. Saku Koivu, and it's deflected in by Solani. 2-0 Finland. Was that Solani, or did it hit someone before it got to him? I think I think Solani was going there looking for the pass, and it almost looked to me like it might have hit a defenseman. Lettinen was there as well, and it was a funny goal because the goaltender, the goaltender kind of looked and said, how'd that go in? But I, I think there was a deflection before it got to him. Let's take a look here. Lettinen's in front. Here it comes. Yeah, oh, it went right off the blade of the stick. This man right there in front went right off the blade of his stick. Tamu was going there and thought he had an easy one, but he doesn't touch it. It already deflected off the stick of number 26, Helfer. And past the goaltender and in, and that's another power play goal for Finland. That makes it a 2-0 lead. So Solani was wide open. Helfer, the defenseman, number 26 for Italy, ends up accidentally deflecting it in. Here's another look right in front. Goes off his stick, past the goaltender. 2-0 Finland, two power play goals. For Saku Koivu, his seventh career Olympic goal. Remember, he missed the Salt Lake games in 02. Tempo Newman in his second assist, 3.51 the time. Two goals in two minutes, two seconds for Finland. And they lead 2 0. Scandella. And it deflects out of play. Now they gave this to. to uh, Saku Koigu, right? Yes. I, yep. I don't. I don't I don't know if they're going to keep it that way. I mean, to me, the defenseman that uh, took the shot, uh, was, it, was that Koivu that shot it? I, it was it that took the shot that deflected? Okay, pardon me. So, in either event, the power play goal for Finland. And then that makes it 2-0. Finland with 17 of their 28 shots, Joe, on the power play. Now, Italy just keeps digging a hole that keeps getting bigger and deeper and deeper. And Saku Koivu, he, didn't even, he wasn't even attempting to shoot. He was looking to set up Solani, who was wide open on the other side. Italy, the automatic bid into these Olympic Games as the host country. They did not qualify four years ago for the Salt Lake City Games. They are the only country among 12 in men's hot ice hockey without any current NHL players. Uh, even though they did win the beat pool last year, so... They feel as a team that they deserve to be here nonetheless. Kapanen into the Italy zone and the drive by Laxon in his glove by L. You know, you, th you think of the goals that were scored against L, the goaltender. We saw the last one that was deflected in. The, the first one by Finland hit the post, went off him, slid across, and there was a little tap in. And for Mickey Goulet, he's trying to get his, trying to get his team going here. Now, effort-wise, you know, it's been there. I mean, but they've just been in the penalty box too often. And when you do that against a talented team like the Finns, I mean, you have almost no chance of winning unless your goaltender can stop everything. He's come close to stopping everything. He stopped 27 of 29. Finland shots. And the so game, you know, the game's not over. There's still plenty of time left. Let's check in now with Bill Clement. Bill. All right, Ken, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to keep everybody updated on what's going on in this game between Finland and Italy. Right now, the Finns lead 2 to nothing.